Good day, learners! In the previous lesson, you discovered that properties of materials tell about their uses or importance or whether they are useful or harmful. In this lesson, you will investigate changes that happen in materials under the two conditions which are the presence or lack of oxygen and application of heat. When these materials combine with other substances, they will undergo changes in their properties. There are two ways by which materials change. Physical change happens when the materials change in shape or size, but the substances or particles making up the materials are still the same. These changes are directly observed like when you cut or slice an apple. There are changes in shape and size of an apple, but the material is still the same. Aside from cutting, there are also other processes that cause changes in the materials. These include bending, dissolving, freezing, boiling, shredding, and melting. The breaking of glass into pieces is also an example of physical change. Change in the state of matter from solid to liquid or from liquid to gas is also an example of physical change. You can explore chemical change by observing an apple. If you have an apple at home, cut it into two and expose it to oxygen in the air. If the apple is not available at home, observe the picture that shows the uncut and cut apple. What did you observe in its color after cutting the apple and exposing it to oxygen after 5 minutes? If you observe that it changes from whitish to brownish color, then it undergoes chemical change. The oxygen which is introduced in the surface of the apple releases the free radicals in an oxidation process. This turns apple into brown color. The material undergoes chemical change. There are substances in an apple that combines with oxygen and causes the browning of an apple. Metals such as iron rusts when exposed to oxygen. Rusting occurs when the surface of the metals or its alloys, such as steel, will corrode in the presence of water. Water is a compound that is made up of oxygen and hydrogen. The presence of oxygen causes rusting of iron. The process of rusting is a combustion reaction similar to creation of fire. If it is left in contact with oxygen, iron will react with oxygen to form rust. Rusting is the common term for corrosion of iron and its alloys. There are other processes that cause chemical changes. These are burning, cooking, rusting, and rotting. Cooking and burning involves the application of heat. 
This causes the materials to change in their state and composition. When this happens, a new substance and different properties or products are formed. Some evidences of chemical change are the production of heat and light, formation of bubbles, or formation of a precipitate or solid within a solution. Observe the following videos and discover more about changes in materials when heat is applied. Materials undergo chemical change also when heat is applied. Heat causes the materials to change in their properties. It will change state from solid to liquid, which is called melting. When ice cubes melted, the heat present in the environment was absorbed by the ice cubes. But when the heat was absorbed by the lighted candle and crayon, They change state from liquid to solid. This is caused by the process of cooling. That ends our lesson for today. I hope you learned something from the discussion. Kita kids in the next lessons. Until next time, goodbye.